In this video, we're going to be looking at this problem, valid tic-tac-toe state. We're given a tic-tac-toe board as a string array called board and want to return true if and only if it is possible to reach this board position during the course of a valid tic-tac-toe game. In other words, we want to validate whether the tic-tac-toe board is in a valid state. And the board is a 3x3 three three array. It consists of characters space, so representing an empty square, x and o. And if you're not familiar with the rules of tic-tac-toe, Players take turns placing characters into empty squares. The first player always places X, the second player always places O, and X and O characters are always placed into empty squares, never filled ones. The game ends when there are three of the same non-empty character filling any row, column, or diagonal. The game also ends if all the squares are non-empty, and no more moves can be played if the game is over. So let's take a look at these examples. So the first one is an invalid board because there's only one O on the board, but the first player always places X. Uh, in the second example, this is also an invalid board because players take turns making moves. So you wouldn't have three X's, you would have at most two if there's only one O. And then in the third example, this is a valid tic-tac-toe state. Let's break this question down. So the first thing is that the number of X's must be greater or equal to the number of O's. So this is because X plays first, and because they play first and they alternate, then the number of X's must always be greater or equal to the number of O's. The second is that more specifically, the number of X's must be at most one more than the number of O's. So this is because they alternate turns. So once X plays, then O has to play, then X plays again, then O has to play, until we reach a finished state. The number of X's will never differ by more than one. We then need to check the win conditions. So along the horizontals, along the verticals, and both the diagonals. If any of these contain all X's, then X wins. And if any of these contain all O's, then O wins. So further, if X wins, well, since X goes first, O cannot also win. Also because X goes first, the number of X's on the board should be exactly one greater than the number of O's on the board. So let's write this down. So if X, x wins then o does not win and the number of x's is one greater than the number of o's so since o goes second that means that the number of o's is always either equal or exactly one less than the number of x's so in the case that o wins that also means that the number of o's is equal to the number of x's So this is pretty much it for the breakdown of the rules. As for the pseudocode, well, we need to translate these four conditions. So all four conditions must be true for this to be a valid tic-tac-toe state. And then we want to return true. Uh, otherwise, we want to return false. So what we're going to do is count the number of x's first. Then we want to also count the number of o's. We also want to check horizontals, verticals, diagonals, to see if any are filled with X's. Otherwise, and this would give you the X win condition. And then we also wanna do the same thing with O to see if O also has a win condition. And then if X wins, well, then we want to return that O does not win. And also the number of X's is exactly one greater than the number, whoops, than the number of O's. And then otherwise, if O wins, then we also want to return that also the number of X's is equal to the number of O's. And then lastly, in the case that nobody wins, we want to return that the number of X's is at most one greater than the number of O's. So in terms of time and space complexity, well, this is a fixed board uh, of uh, three by three, counting the number of X's and O's, uh, checking the horizontals, verticals, and diagonals are all constant time operations. So the time complexity is gonna be O1 and the space complexity is gonna be O1. All right, let's implement this in Java. So let's start off with some counters. So first let's make a int num X equals zero and then num O equals zero. And then let's also have a Boolean flag that tells you the X win condition. 
This is if X wins on any horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. And then same thing with O. So one way we can kind of just do this efficiently is let's check the horizontals and verticals in the same loop. So for int i equals 0, i is less than 3. Since the size of the board we know is exactly 3. Uh, for char c, i up to char array. So we can use this to count the number of x's and o's. So keep in mind, we have to do if the character is x and then else if the character is o because we don't want to accidentally count any empty squares. Okay, so let's check the horizontal at row i. So if board i dot equals xxx, well then we want to set this flag to be true for x. And then otherwise, if it equals o, 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 then O wins on that horizontal. And then we, we can also use this loop to check the vertical at column I. So we're going to use a string builder for this. We're going to append the board index zero at char at i index zero one and two and then we do the same thing so if the vertical equals xxx then we want to set the x win flag and then otherwise if it equals O, 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 then we want to set the O win flag. <laughs> so then beyond this, we also want to check the diagonals. So we're also going to use a string builder for this. Let's first check the left diagonal. And then we're going to do the same thing. So if the diagonal equals xxx, then x wins. If the diagonal equals OOO, then O wins. So that's the left diagonal. And then we also want to check the right diagonal. We don't want to update these indices so that they're reversed. And then if this diagonal equals xxx, x wins. If it equals O, 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 O wins. And then finally, we implement the logic that we had in the pseudocode. So if X wins, then we want to make sure that O doesn't also have a win condition and that the number of X's compared to the number of O's differs by exactly one. Otherwise, if O wins, we want to return that also the number of X's is exactly equal to the number of O's. And then in the case that nobody wins, we want to return that the number of x's is greater or equal to the number of o's, and that they can differ by at most one. OK, let's run this. All right, and that's how you solve this problem, valid tic-tac-toe state.